Hey guys, welcome back to my channel again this week for yet another video. Um, for those of you who don't know, my name is Karina, also known as the Artistic Newfie here on YouTube. And uh, welcome to my channel if this is your first time being here. And if you're a returning subscriber, welcome to you guys too. Glad to have you back. Uh, this week I'm doing something a little bit different. Um, I know I've done some galaxy paintings here on my channel, but this week I am doing a full on, you guessed it, landscape painting. I have never done a full-on landscape painting like this before. This is the first one that I had ever completed. And I must say, you know, it's not, you know, 100%, but I think I did a pretty, pretty good job. Um, it's not sped up a whole lot. It only took me about 40 minutes to paint this, but I did want to reduce it down to a 12-minute video, but also keep it to a speed where if you want to follow along, you, you can. Um, I'm not really using any um, really specific colors. Um, two different shades of blue, a yellow, an orange, and a red, and some white and some black. That's pretty much all I use. And I think I brought out some titanium um, white. It's kind of like a beige-colored um, white. I'm, I'm air-quoting here. Here, um, in just a little bit here and that's pretty much all the colors that I've used I'm just using a couple different sizes of a round brush and uh, yeah that's um, depending on what surface you want to paint on you can use a larger size brush or if you want to paint a smaller surface that I'm painting on you can use a smaller brush it really doesn't matter if you want to have a go at this painting just grab a round brush flat brush if you want I don't think it'll matter um, I'm not uh, a professional in acrylic painting and I just grabbed a brush and started painting here I could be doing a hundred things wrong I don't know I don't care um, <laughs> it's all a learning experience right now and um, I must say it was um, it was fun painting it. I kind of got in the groove, and I did paint another one after this. So if you want to see uh, the other the other landscape painting I did, let me know, and I can upload it for either next week or the week after. Um, it I like the other one I did a whole lot better than this one, although this one here is pretty good. Um, but yeah, the, the the next one that I did that I can put up at a later date, um, I, I feel uh, it's it's more vibrant and I like the way that it turned out more. But this was the first one I did, so I had to show this one first. Um, I I'm, I can't really do a full-on tutorial because, again, I'm not good at... I'm not, I'm not saying I'm not good. Um, I'm not proficient. Professional. I'm not a professional at painting landscape, so I don't think I should be giving um, advice to anyone, really. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. But I, you know, I just, I, I found another picture on Pinterest. I thought, you know, this doesn't look too, too bad. Let's give it a go. So the one thing that, um, that I did find with painting with, uh, with the acrylic, again, like I did with the, the girl that I painted a couple weeks ago, I found that it was very hard to keep the paint on the wood surface. And yes, I did gesso it. Uh, if you're using acrylic, it is highly recommended that you gesso the surface first. Um, but there's just something about this liquid text paint that I'm not really enjoying a whole lot and if you don't put it on thick and I mean thick um, it's just it you can see right through it and acrylic paint should be opaque not uh, not transparent and uh, it's just it's a, it's a tad bit frustrating but um, I did water some of the paints down to an extent after a while to help build up some of the uh, the color and uh, this is pretty much where I'm at here now it's um, you know I can't even explain what I did. I created a horizon line, painted the top half blue, the bottom half a darker blue, put some little squigglies in there <laughs> with some white paint to make some different shapes in the water. Then I did some squigglies in yellow, and then I did some squigglies in orange. God, I'm a good teacher, aren't I? This is why I don't do tutorials, because I'm horrible at explaining things. Um, so right here, I'm trying to paint in. You can take it however you want. It could be a sunrise or a sunset. Um... But this is supposed to be a sun. And the picture that I was looking off of, the sun was very dull. It wasn't vibrant or anything. Um, so I just painted it how I saw it. Someone else could have um, saw it a bit different than I did. But this is what I got. So, um, again, it wasn't too, too difficult. Um, the painting really didn't come together until I started putting in the, the foreground of the picture here. Because you kind of get that depth. Um, 
and uh, it kind of brought the whole thing together but it wasn't super super difficult one thing that I find <laughs> that I need to be careful of is when I'm painting like this that I found out that I always have a tendency to turn my canvas a little bit to the side and that gives me a crooked horizon line and everyone knows horizon line should be straight across straight across and uh, I, I messed up um, I did paint a third painting which I don't know if I'm going to show because it's not my favorite <laughs> um, and I I messed it up pretty bad and I turned the the little um the oval wood piece here that I'm painting on I, I have a whole bunch of these so the one that I was painting on for this third piece that I did I kind of turned it too much to the side and my horizon line is kind of really crooked um I tried to play it off as saying that someone took a picture crooked but you know, it's not gonna work um so <laughs> I don't know if I'm gonna show it but when you add in the foreground of the picture it starts really adding adding some depth and um I think that it brings the picture um it brings the picture out quite a bit so that that's fairly neat um Another thing that I need to practice a little bit is the formation of my trees, which um, should be coming up here pretty soon. Um, I don't know how to paint trees with a fan brush. When you, you know, watch Bob Ross or you watch other acrylic painters or even oil painters, they always use a fan brush to paint trees. And when I do that, it looks like a little kid just took the paintbrush and just smushed it all <laughs> over the canvas. And so I don't do that. Um, so I kind of... I don't know if it's my own way of, you know, painting trees, but it's something that I kind of, that I picked up, I guess, that made it a bit easier to paint trees for myself, and uh, it's it seems to work for me pretty well, so I continue to paint like that. Again, somebody else might look at it and say, the trees are horrid, but you know what, um, I'm learning, and uh, it is what it is. So I think that this painting overall turned out pretty good. Like I said, I really liked it once I started adding in the, um, the little mountains or the cliffs here in the front. Uh, which I'm going to add some trees to right away after I added that in. It kind of, you know, it, it made the, the picture stand out a bit. And uh, this one here turned out pretty good, but the second one that I did turned out better than this one. And then the third one I did, I kind of lost my mojo. <laughs> and it didn't turn out so well. So um, maybe I can put it in as a bonus uh, a little and bonus feature at the end of the next video but again I really wanted to turn this into a tutorial but I was thinking you know I don't really have the knowledge and know how to um, tell someone how to paint this but I feel like I've slowed it down quite enough that um, you know a beginner could look at the video and kind of look at what I'm doing if you're a visual learner um, I think it would be helpful so um, that's why I titled the video um, how to paint this landscape for beginners um that's not the i haven't even thought of a title yet i'm just recording the voiceover you'll see the title <laughs> i'm just getting way ahead of myself here um but again i think someone that you know has a little bit of knowledge of the basics for acrylic painting could pick at pick up this video and and get the result um if not something similar to what i'm getting so hopefully somebody does find this interesting does find that it helps them and if you do pick up on the video and you do sit down and you paint this yourself please if you have instagram tag me in it my information is all down below in the description on um, where you can find me and um, tag me in instagram and let me know how how your painting turned out i'd be really interested in, in seeing what it looks like if you do try the video I'll try the painting uh english today get my sentences correct um there's really not a whole lot more that i can really talk about about the picture um if you're wondering why there's so many acrylic paintings on my channel right now it's because i am trying to paint some things for a local art fair arts and craft fair that's coming up on the on the 17th of november so i'll vlog about that and put it in the next uh, studio vlog because it is next weekend so my next studio vlog is probably going to go through the remainder of the week and in to next weekend as well so that'll be up um the following tuesday because uh, that's the date of my when the vlogs go up for the studio vlogs or studio diaries or artist di whatever you want to call it um <laughs> so that's when I'll, I'll put that up and you can see what it looks like i've never been to a craft fair or an art fair i guess in my hometown so i don't know what to expect i don't know if it's going to be a group of elders there or if there's going to be a variety in age groups uh so that is um 
I guess I have to wait and see what that's going to be like, but hopefully it turns out for the better. Um, and I'm hoping that, um, well, I'm, I'm hoping to sell a lot of things, but if I don't, then I think I mentioned in a previous video that whatever I don't sell on the 17th will get put up on my Etsy store on the 18th, so it's going to be there for everyone else to see. I have a lot of different paintings. I'm also painting more little wooden trinket boxes right now with some girl characters that I like to do on the front of those, and they'll be available as well if they do not sell at the craft fair. I was going to put them up a little bit early, but I was afraid that um, if they sold, then I'd be wasting money and posting it on Etsy. Etsy and you know I'd have to take down again and there's money gone so I I figured that I would wait um, plenty of time to receive it in time for Christmas um, if Canada Post ever comes off strike hopefully that's going to be done soon for those of you who don't know if you're not in Canada or post office is on strike here and it's mucking up the the um, the postal service things are not going through as they're supposed to so hopefully they get their their you know stuff all sorted and get what they want soon so we can get rid of the strike because you know not getting the mail is not good um, but here I'm getting pretty close to the end of the video and I'm just finishing off by going around the entire outside with uh, some black paint. I was going to do it in white first, but I figured the black would help stand, you know, make the, the whole thing stand out because it's mostly black in the picture. So I just wanted to keep it, you know, the same throughout. And, um, I pretty much finish it off with, uh, some varnish. I waited for it to dry for a little bit, but when it comes to painting over acrylic with varnish, you don't have to wait that long. Just, you know, maybe a half an hour or so just to make sure it's completely dry dry depending on how thick the acrylic is. Um, it's not like oil paint where you have to wait days or even weeks or even months before you can varnish it. So that's one of the good things about working with acrylic. It's a little bit faster than oils, which I do have oils, but I haven't tried them yet. I'm working up the courage to do it, so bear with me. Um, but again, there may be quite a few more acrylic paintings. If you're not interested in seeing so many acrylic paintings, please let me know because then I can break it up. If not, um, every time I sit down to make a new painting for the art fair, um, I'm making a video out of it. So I'm kind of killing two birds with one stone here. But I really hope you enjoyed the video. And um, I'm sorry if I'm rambling. But as I mentioned before, I'm trying not to use music in my videos because YouTube keeps putting strikes on me because I'm using free music from their music library and people are putting copyright strikes on it and it ticks me off so I've decided not to use music in my videos anymore so you're gonna have to listen to me ramble um <laughs> but anyway this I'm I'm trying to varnish the, the picture here and it's pretty well done but again um like I said I hope you guys enjoyed the video I hope it was interesting and I hope someone made some use out of this and uh, don't forget to tag me if you paint the picture and before I go don't forget to hit the subscribe button if you haven't done so already and don't forget to hit the notification bell because if you don't hit the notification bell you don't know when I put up a new video because sometimes YouTube does not tell people anyway I hope you guys have a great weekend and I will see you in the next video bye for now